Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dear friends, let us bless and thank the Lord for this beautiful day. God is a God who is always watching each and every one of us at every moment. And this awareness will make us more dependable to God. Let us sing and praise the Lord. God is watching. Clapping the hands with joy for your faces. God is watching, watching over you. 24 7, watching over you. The light is in his hands, oh, oh. He's got great big plans, cause he's watching over you. God is watching, watching over you. Amen. 24 7, watching over you. Glory. The light is in his hands, oh, oh. He's got great big plans, cause he's watching over you. God is watching, watching over you. 24 7, watching over you. The light is in his hands, oh, oh. He's got great big plans, cause he's watching over you. Mother Mary, our blessed mother, help us and be with us. Hail Mary, full, full, of, full of grace, grace. The, Lord the Lord is with thee. thee. Blessed, blessed are you, thou among women, and blessed, women, and blessed, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy, Holy Mary, Mary, Mother of God, God pray, pray for us sinners, sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, the world without end. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We know, dear friends, about God it is said, He has got three characteristics. They are, God is omniscient, is omnipotent, and he is omnipresent. And today, we meditate upon the omnipotent God. Our God is a God who knows everything. He knows everything about each and every one of us. Because we read Hebrews chapter 13 verse 8. Jesus Christ Yesterday, today and tomorrow is the one and the same. Therefore, he knows us through and through. This awareness will make us more dependable to God as well as it will remove all the unnecessary anxieties and worries from our hearts. The realization that we are not alone, that our God knows what we are, God knows our aspirations. God knows our burdens. God knows our inner size. This realization will make us more and more dependable to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We see, in the Bible, God sees everything. Let us come to the Gospel of St. John, chapter 1, verse 48. Nathaniel asked him, Where did you get to know me? Jesus answered, I saw you under the fig tree before Philip called you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the exact moment, the exact time where you were is known to God. He is telling you, you are there under the fig tree before Philip called you. Exactly. And Nathaniel is wondering, Lord, how you knew about me? And that is the Speciality of God. He knows everything. Again coming to the fourth chapter of St. John, we see the Samaritan lady. The woman answered him, I have no husband. And Jesus said to her, You are right in saying I have no husband. For you have had five husbands 
and the one you have now is not your husband what you have said is true hallelujah 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 see and the lady is wonderstruck why this man is telling me about my past life which i have not revealed and jesus knew her past history knowing this nature of god in the psalm psalm 139 for onwards even before a word is on my tongue o lord you know it completely you hem me in behind and before and lay your hand upon me such knowledge is too wonderful for me so dear brothers and sisters we should understand that god sees everything god knows well and word of god says in the book of isaiah chapter 65 verse 6 see it is written before me i will not keep silent but i will repay hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. jesus is telling god is telling you see dear my dear brothers and sisters whatever you do in darkness will be proclaimed in the sunshine like whatever you do in secret is known to god we should be able to make a change in our heart by having this awareness that i can make others fool but i can never make god a fool dear friends the word of god says the book of wisdom chapter 1 verse 6 book of wisdom the first chapter verse 6 says for wisdom is a kindly spirit but will not free blasphemers from the guilt of their words because god is witness of their inmost feelings and a true observer of their hearts hallelujah hallelujah even the inmost feelings are seen by god we may think nobody has seen it but god sees god sees everything praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord. lord in the book of job chapter 34 verse 21 reads in this way for his eyes are upon the ways of mortals and he sees all their steps hallelujah hallelujah every step you take is seen by god therefore my dear brothers and sisters today when we are trying to cover up ourselves make sure that god knows what is in your heart hallelujah hallelujah the word of god says first samuel chapter 16 verse 7 first samuel 16 7 for the lord does not see as mortal see they look on the outward appearance but the lord looks on the heart hallelujah 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 today people sometimes they may appreciate us oh you are such a wonderful person oh you have done so well oh you are such a nice person people will be sometimes appreciate you but in your heart when you are in if you are alone you should think and you should ask the lord lord this is what others say but what do you say about me what do you say about me the word of god says dear friends god knows every sigh of each and every one your pain god knows it your suffering god knows it in the book of daniel chapter 14 we see daniel is been thrown into the den of the lions and when he is there and there is no one to help him daniel was so hungry for so many days he had nothing to eat because he refused to commit sin and jesus knew his heart therefore the god wanted to serve him with a a, a, a delicious food and that's why from miles away he just took prophet habakkuk and took his him by his hair and landed uh, him in the dense lions den by seeing the love of god daniel is overwhelmed with joy and he speaks in this way 1438 of daniel daniel said you have remembered me o god and have not forsaken those who love you praise the lord praise, praise the, the lord. lord word of god says 
God will never forsake those people who loved God. Because our God is a, a powerful God, a loving God. He cannot say no to the people who love him. Therefore, my dear brother and sister, today as you are here watching and listening to the word of God, I am sure to tell you one thing. If you have this faith in you, that God sees your every sigh, God sees whatever you do, God sees your pain, your suffering, then be sure, trust on, on him, he is going to help you. And he is there to support you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Hallelujah. Lord. Hallelujah. And therefore, let us cast out all the anxieties and worries. Why should we worry? Because God knows my situation. He knows my pain. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That's why in the Psalm chapter 56, 8. 56, 8 says, You have kept count of my tossings. Put my tears in your bottle. Are they not in your record? Hallelujah. 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 Dear friends in Christ Jesus, I remember an incident. Once a boy who is doing his medicine, he came to me and spoke to me. He said, Father, I was from a very poor family. And from the very childhood onwards, I had a desire to become a doctor. And this boy is telling, he was praying and praying. And years after, when he completed his um, PU, dear friends, what happened? He, what happened? A man came to his assistance. And he asked this boy, whom do you want to become? He said, my greatest desire is to become a doctor. And this gentleman said, don't worry. You just don't worry about your financial problems. I am going to help you. And he became, he, he joined the uh, medicine. And now he is almost completing his medis, medis, medical studies. And he is telling, innermost feelings. I have not shared with anybody. But God knew it. He sees everything. Whenever you do anything, just make sure. If you look here and there, nobody is around you. But Jesus is there. If you can have this feeling in your heart, you will never do anything that pains Jesus. And that is the best way to live in virtue. Hallelujah. 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 Don't look at others. Don't look what people think. Because God knows our innermost heart. The appreciation of the people. Today they appreciate you. Tomorrow they will put you out. Don't worry about it. You be faithful and trustful to God and he knows your inner feelings even if you are persecuted for doing good don't worry you will have the reward in heaven because God is going to give you reward according to your actions hallelujah hallelujah hallelujah, hallelujah. let this spirit or this let this inspiration help us to move forward nothing to worry Jesus is there for me to guide me and he sees me and he knows me through and through. Let's stand up. Almighty Father, we thank and praise you. Lord, the awareness that you are watching us. The awareness that even if there is no one to listen to us, you are there, ever ready to listen. What we need is just to come into you. You are always waiting there. As the word of God says in the revelation, I am knocking at your door. Please open the door. Give me a chance to come inside and stay with you. And that is what God is asking you. Dear friends, can you open your hearts to Jesus? With all your problems, with all your shortcomings, with all your utter failures. Maybe in your family you might be a neglected person. People don't care for you. You don't get enough love from your family. Sometimes your relations are broken. Your friendships, friendships are uh, just broken down. You feel you are all alone. And sometimes, even when you do good to others, people are persecuting you. They are torturing you. Don't worry. There is someone who sees you. Can you place your life into the heart of Jesus? Can you put your troubles to Jesus? He is able to make you calm. He, will able, he is able to give you happiness and joy and let us ask the Lord Lord we need the courage by sending your Holy Spirit to each and everyone who is in pain who is in utter confusion 
who is unnecessarily being persecuted and tortured in the family in the community because he is doing good to touch them heal them hallelujah 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 i offer my life to you everything i've been through is it for your glory lord i offer my days to you jesus sing my praise to you as a pleasing sacrifice Hallelujah 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 all those who are in pain and suffering let them be touched by Jesus hallelujah hallelujah let the holy spirit touch them let them have the faith that Jesus sees everything oh lord this awareness let us make us let us keep us away from doing sin and doing bad things hallelujah hallelujah Lifting my praise to you as a pleasing sacrifice. Dear friends, the awareness that Jesus sees everything will make us to do two things. First, to do everything in the best way possible. Second, to suffer, to give up our suffering to Christ. because he will answer us praise the lord praise the lord Almighty Father, we thank and bless you for giving your Son Jesus to us as our Savior and Redeemer. Lord, we know that you know everything. You see everything that is going on in our hearts. Our Lord, today give us the courage, the strength to live a holy life. The word of God says Psalm 119 verse 26 When I narrated everything to the Lord he answered me Let us praise and worship the Lord hallelujah 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 hallelujah, hallelujah. hallelujah. 
Oh Lord, give us the courage and strength. Lord, take away our double nature. Or take away our mask that we put on. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. We thank you, thank you, praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Let us raise the hands up to Jesus and ask for our mercy. Hallelujah. Glory, 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 glory,